hey, every golfer wants to hit a nice high draw. And I'm gonna show you two things, yes, two things that every golfer who's ever hit a high draw does every single time. And more importantly, I'm gonna show you how you can do it in a simple way to practice it every single time. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And I have made my living uh, fixing the slice and helping people hit a nice high draw. Now, there's two things that I want you to learn today that we're gonna talk about. In order to hit a high draw, you have to understand what the club face needs to do and what the swing direction, or what we call path, needs to do. So what you have to understand is that in order to hit a high draw, the club face is gotta be pointed to the left of the direction you're swinging the golf club. So if you're a right-handed golfer and you swing the club into out, which I'm gonna show you how to do, with a square club face, you're going to hit a nice high draw. All right, so let's dive into it. How do we practice that? Well, the first thing is I've got my brand new vertical line board out. Now this thing has been in thought process and production with our team here, my man Nick behind the camera, Jordan, our entire research team. We have been working on this, like how do we help people play better golf? So we came up with this concept and it's gonna really help us relay the message today. So first of all, we've got some lines on here. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my club face is square to my target line. So I've got it lined up here right at the red flag. And I've got a gray line here Okay, that's running right through my feet. I'm gonna make sure my club face is perfectly square to that line. Okay, so now I know that my club face is nice and square. So let me just go ahead and get set in here. Let me hit a shot with just that square club face. So here we go, the club face is square. And we're gonna talk about the other concept in here in a second. Man, that was solid. You could even hear it, couldn't you? It was solid, it was nice, and had a little bit of a draw to it. Let me put another ball in place. Here we go. All right, so that's the concept. The first concept you gotta understand. What we're trying to get done here is we wanna swing the club in to out with a square club face. So the first thing you gotta do, and I believe in coaching, and you might feel differently, if you do leave it in the comments there, but that the first thing I always look at if somebody is slicing the golf ball is what's the club face doing? I think most instructors will do that. So that's how we get that club face nice and square. Now, the second thing we gotta do, and I'm gonna show you a drill and kinda tie all this together here, is you gotta get the club swinging in to out. So, just as a visual, I've got a blue line on here. So we've got the gray line, which is my target line. I've got the club face perfectly square to that target line, matching it up with the other gray line, but the swing direction, where I want the club traveling, I'm gonna move the ball out of the way here. Okay, you can see, it's where, the, where I want the club traveling is along that blue line. You can see that right there. That's where I want the club traveling. If the club travels along that blue line with a square club face, I get a nice high draw. So let's hit a shot, here we go. And I got a, two tips I'm gonna share with you how you can practice this that are, can really help you dial it in. All right, here we go. My man Nick is smiling behind the camera there because he knows this is gonna be a high draw, right Nick? Absolutely. <laughs> this is the high draw, all right, here we go. Square club face. I got the visual of the blue line, here we go. So in the club along the blue line, Todd. Awesome, love it. Beautiful high draw. So, that's the concept. Now if you haven't already, hey, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel, right? Ring the bell, tell a friend about US Golf TV. We love helping our golfers here. We're doing great stuff on chipping and putting. And you gotta check out our vertical line series. It's specifically designed for golfers who maybe got a bad back, a sore knee, what we like to call our experienced golfers. You know who you are, right? If you are, hey, put that in the comments. How old are you? and how much you still love golf, how long you've been playing. I love reading those stories. All right, so here we go. You get the ball back in there. We know what we wanna do. We wanna swing into out, we wanna square club face. So how do you practice that? Well, the first thing you can do is you can adjust your setup. You can slightly adjust your setup to promote that. That's why I've got this line here. So you'll notice that this line here is definitely to the right of where I want the golf ball to end, the target line. So I got target line and I've got this line here. So this is gonna be my feet. Now by getting my feet parallel to this line, that promotes the club to swing more along the blue line. All right, that's one thing that a lot of golfers don't know. The club, all things being equal, will tend to follow or want to follow the direction of your feet. So if my feet are like this, all things being equal, the club will want to track that way. If my feet are like this, 
I'll be more prone to swing this way. And you've already learned from watching this video here today and watching all our stuff here at US Golf TV and our website, usgolftv.com, that we want to swing into out. So here we go. And I'm gonna give you another tip here in a second. So I got club face square, let's recap. Blue line is where it's tracking. And I'm gonna put my feet parallel to that line on the ground to help me swing the club along the blue line. Here we go. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, see Nick is laughing behind the camera because I keep hitting golf shots because I just love seeing the high draw here. All right, here we go. Now, making sense so far? Hopefully, if not, put some questions in the comments there. I'll be sure to do my best to answer those. Now, last thing I want to share with you. This is one of the things I, I told the team when we develop stuff and whenever I'm helping people play better golf, you got to make it simple. We pride ourselves on making the game simple and easy, all right? So I've got a purple tee. Now this time I'm going to put the purple tee in the blue right there, all right? Now, I always start on that side. There's another blue hole over here. We'll talk about that in a different video, but that's just kind of a visual. Now why do I put that there? Well, because if I make a swing and the club comes out and across, I'm going to hit that tee and I'm going to break that tee. That's my feedback that says, uh-oh, the club did not travel the right direction. So here we go. Let me hit one more shot. Remember what we're doing. We're swinging the club in to out, square club face. I've got my feet parallel to the new line on the ground there to promote that in to out. I've got the visual of the purple tee right there. Boom. One more high draw. Hey, if you want to hit the nice high draw, these concepts right here are going to help you do just that.